So let's say I want to make a grade sheet for a school. It can be easily done with the help of Excel. So I'm going to say this is going to be a result. Just like this. And over here, I'm going to add in the required values. So for the result, uh, I'm going to for, um, worry about formatting later. And over here, I'm going to add in name, symbol number, Maybe over here, I want to add in grade or class or whatever. All right, class and so forth. All right, so I added in these details. I'm going to add in the subject code or subject code, just like this over here. Over here, I may want to add in the subject total marks, pass marks, and then over here, I'm going to add in marks obtained. And over here, I'm going to add in status. And that's it. All right. So I added in the required fields right here. I'm going to bold these out just like this. And these are all of the fields that is required. We're going to worry about formatting them later. For the subject code, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to add in the subject name first. That's going to be Mathematics, Social Studies, English, French, uh, Mathematics, Social Studies, English, French, Science, uh, what else? All right, Mathematics, Social Studies, English, French, Science. Uh, and then I'm going to add in uh, something like uh, drawing. All right, drawing as well. Okay, so let's say I have these subjects right here. So the subject code, I'm just going to have random code right here. Just like this. Okay. And then our science and drawing. All right, there you go. So I got the subject code right here. So I got the subject code, the subject. Now I need to add in the total marks. So let's say all of them get 100 marks, just like this. Let's drag it out. And the pass marks for each one of them is 40. All right, so the marks obtained is where I enter the data on where if the students gave the marks or not. And I want to add in the status. So if it is below 40%, I want to say that the student failed, just like that. And over here, I want to add in an aggregate marks of everything. So I want to say, so uh, I want to go over here and say total, just like this, 600. And I want to add in this total as well. I don't want to calculate it all out. I'm just going to get sum, just like that, sum 240 at least, mark of obtain and status, just like that. So over here, I'm going to say total, pass marks, and marks obtain, total in percentage, just like that, 100%, 40%, and there you go, marks obtain right here and status I'm gonna add in uh, let's say over here let's say I want to add in something like a division so I'm gonna put this down over here it's like that total total in percentage and then finally I want to add in division all right so I got all the fields required for the grade seat right here so let us add in the codes. Let us let us add in the details just like that. So let me just uh, wrap this text around so that these actually uh, looks well. I'm going to center align it so that it is well aligned just like that. I don't actually need a bunch of field right here. So total marks can be in two, two column. Pass marks can be in two column as well. Same goes for the marks obtained. Uh, for the status, I'll need a formula later, but here I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to write in the formula just like that. These ones, maybe I want to make it all bold, 
So you can see that these are the pass marks and so forth. Marks obtained and so forth. All right. So now I can add in maybe format this a little bit. I'm going to merge this out. So it is going to be in the center. Increase the font size. All right. There you go. Result. Now it's starting to looking look like a report card. So name is going to be Robert, for example. Robert Bird. Right, there you go. Small number of the student. Right? So there's the symbol number and there's the name and grade. Maybe he studies in about eighth grade. Right. Eight. Alright, there you go. So I got everything. So let's see uh, what are the marks he got. So let's say for example he got around 34 around here 76 in social studies maybe 45 around here maybe 60 in this one science maybe he got a 76 and in drawing he got a 50 all right there you go so on the status i need to show if he failed or passed the subject so let's say if we get less than the pass marks then it is a fail so I'm going to press equals right here. If start of the bracket, this value that is EA is less than 100, then show that it is failed. So comma, I'm going to say that he failed. Fail. And then over here, if not, if it is more than 100, not less than, so I mean more than 40, that is not less than 40, I want to say it is a pass, just like this. But here's an error. C8 is this value. I want it to be the pass value right here. So it's not going to be C8. It's going to be D8 right there. All right, there you go. Pass and enter. Okay, something's an error here. So I added an if. All right, is just added add if. And there it says fail. Let me just drag it across and you can see that fail and pass actually appears as you can see right here. So fail and pass just like that. So over here, what I want to do in the total section, I want to add in all of the marks. So press equals sum and drag all of these and then press enter. So that's the total marks right there. I'm going to press equals and I want to calculate the percentage right here. So in this case, I can just divide it by six right here because these are six subjects. So I'm going to use a bit of maths and equals sum sum open bracket, select all of the grades right here and close it out just like that. So this I'm going to divide by six and you can see that this is the percentage right here. Let me change it into percentage over here, right? And divide it by 100. By 100, so that the percentage actually appears just like that. So formula is uh, something that you can do on your own, actually. So it doesn't really matter. So you can see that this is the one. So I can add in something called conditional formatting here as well. So if I, let's say, for example, if it is below uh, uh, below 40, I can also make this uh, text red. So as you can see right here, I can actually go and then add in conditional formatting right here. So let us see the conditional formatting. And since I don't want to go through the tabs, I'm just gonna, uh, gonna go over here and tell me assistant and add in conditional formatting. All right, so I add in Kandi uh, and then it shows conditional formatting right here. So I'm going to highlight the cell rule and I'm going to highlight the cells which is less than 40 because 40 is still passed. And you can see that 34 is a fail and that has been highlighted right there. This one, I just want to change the value a bit again. Uh, seems like I press Ctrl Z and then I change that out just like that. Right. So select all of these and divide by 100 to make sure that it is a percentage value right here. Go home make it a percentage and that's a 57 percent so over here in the division let's say i want to merge these out i'm going to merge and center this out and over here i want to say that it is first division if it is uh greater than 80 uh, uh not first of a distinction if it is greater than 80 uh first division if it is greater than uh, 70 uh 
and so forth. So let me just go over here and type in the formula. So I'm going to press equals if start up the bracket, select 51, if f um, e17 is greater than 80, right? Or 79 because 80 percent is distinction already. 79 percent is then say that it is a distinction. Right? So it is a distinction, comma. Again, I'm going to add in this one. E17 is greater than 69 percentages, then it is going to be first division. Oh, right? First division, just like this. And over here, comma again, I want to add in more if conditions. So if E17 is greater than 79, this distinction. Again, if, start the bracket, E17 is greater than 69, first division, comma. Again, I'm going to add in another if. So I'm going to add in a nested if right here. E17 is greater than 59% then add in second division right okay so actually accepted it's like this all right then it is second division and then again if e17 is greater than 49% It's going to be third division. All right, something's not right here. I want to add in a space for uh, the 40 as well, right? About 40 percent. So I'm going to simply say over here, I'm going to make this 39. Over here, I'm going to make this 49. And for first division, I would say. I'm going to make this 59 and for distinction, I'm going to make it uh, more than 79 itself. So these are the values right here. I'm just going to press enter. All right. So it says we got too many arguments over here. So yeah, here I forgot to add in an if. So I'm going to add in an if over here and then start a, a bracket just like this. So if E17 is 39, third division. And finally, if nothing else is there, then I want to say that it is failed. So I want to say that it is failed just like this. I'm just going to press enter and press yes. It will add in the brackets for me just like that. And now you can see that the student has secured a, sec a second division just like that. So if I were to change the marks right here. So let's say he got 80 in this, 80 in this as well. So he got 70 now has a first division just like that. Let's say you got 90 in this one, 70, 70%, 90, and there you go, distinction. So you can see that this is a dynamic result. So if he uh, were to get 31 in this, 72. So you can see that he gets red letters all over. That's the second division, 31, third division right here. And if you go below this, it's 39 and failed, as you can see right here. So it says failed just like this. If um, E17 is greater than 39, uh, that is the division. All right. So you can see that uh, is equal is greater or equal to. Let me just add in greater or equal to 40 right here so that it gives an accurate result. All right. So that it says it is failed. So now you can format this around to give it a better look. So let, let's say, for example, you can select this out, go over here. Uh, and give it a border, for example, a thick border outside so that it looks like an actual result. So you can go over here, give it a border just like this. Again, this one, you can give it a border and everything out, a nice border out here, just like this. So that's the result grade seat over here. So what you can do is you can simply copy and paste it out and you can see that you can create multiple grade seats for different students in the same uh, Excel seat, just like that. And everything else actually works. So you were to change anything else, you can see that all of the fields actually
actually work out just like that and the formulas and everything adjusts according to it. So that is how you can create a great sheet inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.